It's Beast Wars time again. Specifically Beast Wars 2. It's aight. The toy line is very anime, which is to be expected because it is an anime. But man, the freaking Predacons in that show were very strange. Why? Well, because 90% of them weren't even beasts. They were all heavy machinery and jets and shit. Which is a good allegory for like science versus nature, I guess. Almost like beasts and machines? What a waste. Anyway, Megatron hadn't turned into his transmetal form yet in the series, so they went with something new and hip. Except no, they just made him into Galvatron, but at the time it was relatively fresh, they hadn't started abusing it because it wasn't the early 2000s yet. Except again, that's irrelevant too, because this isn't even Megatron from Beast Wars. At least not the purple Barney fella. This is a whole other guy than the guy from G1 too. He's not the purple schizo we know and love. So where did this guy come from? Well, that doesn't matter when we start in vehicle mode and you see that this drill tank is absolutely awesome. I love this drill tank mode because it weirdly fits with the whole aesthetic of the Predacons being machines and the Maximals being, well, beasts. And you just get that kind of bridging the gap here. And even though this is not colors you would put on a drill tank, it's very Galvatron and I still love it. And truthfully, this is what they should have went with for the SS86 version we're getting soon. And everything about this is alien, from the weird mechanical folded up wings, which we will get to later, and the weirdly futuristic tank treads and turrets out the front. And yes, I'm sure I'm drawing your attention to the gold drill bit, which we'll have to talk about for multiple reasons. First of all, it's gold, and it was made in the same era as Randy, so you better believe it's GPS susceptible. Wow, look at that swirl. And of course, the drill comes detached in packaging, so you're running the risk of breaking it even trying to put them on. But hey, I'm a free American, I'm gonna try it anyway. And you might also notice that there's something about this drill that looks weirdly phallic. I don't think we have a song called Dick. <laughs> Okay, yeah, everyone and their mom, especially your mom, knows that this thing looks like a dick. But you know what? So do a lot of things. Example, this light pole, this piece of corn, this leaf blower too, for some reason, that flagpole, this pole. There's such a thing as too much horn talk and a fellow ought to be f***ing aware of it. Also, have you ever seen a drill tank with a tail that also looks like a dick? As for features, he rolls pretty good. Also, the drill spins, or probes. Okay, I'll stop, I promise. Also, if you unfold the dragon wings, you can get like a Tim Burton bat wing drill thing, which honestly is kind of cool. David, next mode. The transformation takes a little bit of practice considering certain parts collide with each other if you do it in the wrong order, but once you get it down, it's actually pretty simple. It's honestly a very good transformation with how the dragon mode just kind of explodes out of the drill tank. And the way the legs work is one of my favorite parts of the transformation, for sure. In Dragon Mode, he straight up looks like if G1 Galvatron mutated into a kaiju monster, which is absolutely awesome in my opinion. Also, he's got apulets for some reason. The head just gives off a Zoids vibe to me, and honestly, this is how the Transmetal 2 Megatron neck should have worked. Instead, we got this weird, gummy, like, muscly mechanism and it's really gross how it works and it doesn't hold up over time this on the other hand works way better because it has individual joints that move the neck around kind of like a zoid does also quadruple barrel gun knees okay this thing looks like it would kick your ass in horizon zero dawn or something david what other games have robot animals with hostile intent what's that you don't know any other video games with robot animals that have Hostile intent. <sighs> what do I pay you for? So you can flap the wings in this mode for one of the features. And for some reason, if you wanted to, you could close the drill up on the head again and you could get some kind of drill based head attack. So yeah, dickhead. Wait, no, 
David, why did we write this? This one's not even funny. And here we go to the main event, which is the robot mode. And honestly, the transformation to get there is very, very fun. It combines elements from the first two transformations, which is pretty good. And it also takes everything that we've had so far in terms of the other two modes and basically melds them together for the final product, which I think is really good for a triple changer. And it all works together to kind of add some stability and provide a little bit more good form to the robot, which I think is very, very important. In robot mode, he is absolutely one thick and girthy dude. That's what she said. Don't you dare. But no, I really do like this robot mode. It's probably my favorite of the Beast Wars Predacon commanders, at least in terms of toy design anyway. Megatron's first design, hell no. Transmetal 1, and eh, maybe if his face didn't look like a California raisin. And Transmetal 2's dragon arm design is still gross. Now I cannot deny that Magmatron looks good, but I just like Galvatron a little bit more. He's got that irresistible Japanese design factor to him, and I just am a sucker for that. One thing I do want to talk about is his head sculpt. It is really cool, but what is it with all these guys and being constipated? Seriously, all these guys look like they've got a cinder block between their butt cheeks. But yeah, it's a great design. I also really like the crystal in the chest. It's not a spark crystal by any means, but I'm not too sure what it is outside of a cool design cue. I also like how the previous modes work together to form the robot legs. I think that is a very unique design. This design also gives me a Nylock from Power Rangers Samurai vibe. Now one thing that really bothers me is how little the dick drill transforms. I mean, it's basically he's like he's got a third leg back here. I didn't even plan that one, damn it. Feature-wise, he's got a rub sign, which is very standard for the time. That's cool. You can also take off the wing assembly from the dragon mode and make some kind of claw blade weapon? I don't know. Regardless, it's kind of cool. And it works with the wing flapping gimmick thing to uh, grab his enemy, so that's cool. Lastly, you've got these triggers on the arms here. If you push them, you shoot off these scarab blade things, and if you can track them down, you can put them in his hand and make some kind of like serrated axe hatchet weapon, which honestly looks really good in his hands. Articulation for Galvatron is about as 90s as you could possibly get. I mean, well, I should say late 90s just because he's also a Beast Wars character. So he's actually pretty good. Uh, the head is on a like a tight rotation, but it doesn't go all the way around because of the mechanism that has to hold uh, the wing apparatus thing, you know, this, uh, so it's a little limited, but the shoulders are actually pretty good. They're universal on ratchets, so they can go all the way around and they can go out all the way. Um, and then you can straighten the arm, but this will come undone a little bit, but you won't notice it if you're using it for something else. Um, it's got a bicep swivel, uh, a really good elbow, and then it's got a wrist swivel as well. And then once we go down to the torso, he's got a waist swivel. And down to the legs, we've got universal hips. Uh, actually, are they universal? Yeah, they are. They're not on ball joints. Um, so they go all the way out with the spread. They go forward, they go back on ratchets, and then the knees are ratcheted, and you can get some toe as well. So honestly, for his time, he is not bad at all. It's very pleasing articulation. Overall, Galvatron's a pretty slick figure, even though he can be a ticking time bomb from working the shaft too much. That's what she said. No time, but she did. No time! But he's still a very, very unique figure that has a lot to offer in terms of play features. And yes, I do also mean the drill tank, even though... <laughs> Penis. With that being said, keep growing your collections. Treebot out. <laughs>